Okay, so for problem number 22, um, I showed you guys a life hacking class where if you just know the difference between even and odd numbers, you should be able to figure out if the problem is even or odd just by looking at the exponents. So the rule is evens are numbers like 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on. And then your odds would be 1, 3, 5, seven, and then that list goes forever. Now, when you look at your exponents, if they are all even, excuse the handwriting, then it's even. If they are all odds, then it's odd. And if it's mix, if you have a mixture of even and odd, then it's gonna be neither. Now, the only catch to this is you got to make sure that everything has an x. So, in the first example, if you notice, we've got the x squared, but this doesn't have an x. So, we're going to put an x on it. Now, that's not entirely legal. So, to make that x actually not really be there, we put a 0 as the exponent. So, if you were to look at each exponent individually, this one is even, and this one is even. So, since they're all even, this is going to be an example of even. If you look at the second example, they both already have x's, so we don't have to add our own. But this one has an exponent of 2, which is even. And this has an invisible exponent of 1, which is odd. So since we have a mixture, that's going to be neither. The next example, they all have x's. This one has a 5, which is odd. This one has a 3, which is also odd. And then this has an invisible 1, which is also odd. So since all three of them are odd, the entire problem is odd. So we put an O there. If you look at the next one down here, this one is a six, so that's even. This one is a four, that's even. And this one is a two, and that's even. So this is gonna be even since they're all even. If you look at the next one, this one is missing the X. So we have to add in our own X. And anytime you have to add in your own X, you gotta put a zero there. So this one is gonna be even. And 0 is also considered to be even, so the whole problem is even, so that means that it's even. If you look at this last one, this has a 3 for the exponent, so this is going to be an odd. Now, this one doesn't have an x, so we have to add our own x, and anytime you add your own x, it's a 0. And 0 is also going to be even. So we have that in this list up here that 0 is even. So we have an odd. And we have an even, so when they're mixed, it's going to be neither. So that's how you tell if they're even or odd, or neither, just based on the exponents.